So I'm over here in Arizona right now in North Scottsdale. I decided to take a little weekend trip and because I'm a car nerd, as you guys know, decided to take a quick pit stop at the Ferrari, Maserati, Lamborghini, Rolls Royce, Bugatti, Bentley, everything dealer. Basically all exotics dealer. And there's some really cool stuff. Let me show you around. Got a satin black Lamborghini Urus. It's possible that's actually from the factory like that, given that it's on a lot and it's a 2020. Then over here we got AMG GT convertible. You can never really tell between the GT, GTS, and GTC. I guess this one's just a GT. Then we got this really nice Dodge Challenger. I, I absolutely love this color. You'll, you'll find that out after watching my videos for a while. But I'm a total fan. I think it looks just so amazing on this. There's also a really nice green color. Of course, we've got the Corvette C8. It's pretty impressive with this car how much clout it has right now. People driving this around get as much attention as someone in a Lamborghini. We've got a very nice 993. Got this Panamera, black on black, which is always a good look. The 4S, and of course, the wonderful G Wagon. Looks like a G63. Well, is it? it? Says Brabus, but I don't know if it really means much. X5M. That'd be a fun car to review. I've had them out for quite a while now, actually. Levante, a whole bunch of them. These dealers have definitely evolved a lot in recent years with the expansion of Maserati. I think they're making something like 5,000 cars a year back in maybe 2013. And I know they had the goal of ex expanding to somewhere around 50,000 cars a year, which I don't know if they've actually met that goal or not, but I know they've <laughs> clearly upped their production massively. And it really shows, especially in places like LA or here. You just see Ghibli's and Levante's all the time. A lot less of an event to see a Maserati, but they still are incredible looking cars that sound amazing and are just very fun. Not the most reliable, but if you're looking for a little bit more spice in your life, whether that means fun driving experience and a nice exhaust or going to the dealer way too often, this is the place to come. Ooh, wow. That's so cool. My first time seeing a Ferrari Roma. That's so cool. I've been kind of geeking out on these all over YouTube, watching all the videos. Watch Edmund Mondi's video the other day. I'm doing a drive in one of these and getting pulled over. I actually saw his um, car out driving the other day, which was cool, in Los Angeles. I was a little bit skeptical I, I was first totally in love with the car, and then I started becoming a little more skeptical, but seeing it in person, it really is a good looking car. And something that anyone who's been to Ferrari dealers a decent number of times knows, is these cars just have such an amazing leather smell. You know, even if all the windows are up, this is all outside, you can still smell the leather so distinctly on these cars. Beautiful. I've got a buddy with a 458 who I'm hoping to convince let me drive his car. We'll see how that goes. This is a 488. Something really fun about just having silver on your car, especially with something kind of like a 488. A little more luxury oriented and smooth than a 458, which I feel like is a little more raw. Obviously you can tune them and change them as much as you want. We got a nice McLaren 720S here. Just gonna look for a second at how incredible this arrow is here. You can put your entire hand behind that. And of course this one's optioned out with even more bare carbon. Right there and right there on the mirrors. McLaren certainly are the people to talk to if you want to talk about impressive aerodynamics. And this one they really did disguise the convertibles, but if you look through, you can see that it's a 
glass buttresses in the convertible roof. Really fun. And over here in the service area, we got another beautiful 458. Got a uh, California tea from Louisiana of all places. We got another California tea. These are really fun cars. I think they did such a good job with the redesign. This is a pretty impressive wrap, this fade to fade to black in the hood. Shout out to RDBLA for pioneering that. And then this is <laughs> just insane. Certainly quite a way of making a statement for not much money with a crazy wrap Ghibli. So many fun angles to look at this thing. So I'm curious, what's the best deal you guys have been to? I'd love to know. For me, it's actually really hard to pick. There's so many good ones. The one back where I used to live in Massachusetts had an incredible collection at one point of, um, there was a Ferrari Enzo, 288 GTO, F50 and F40, all of which were owned by some crazy collector, only had 250 miles on each of them, roughly, which is just insane. So each one of them was, you know, 1.8 million or so. This is clearly a pretty good dealer though. They get the Portofino. Just saw one of those driving a few minutes ago. Got the orange Portofino, which actually is a really good look on it. And I think that's the 458 Speciale. Got a, I think an F8 way back in there. 599 Aperta, very special car. We got nice old 360. It'd be so nice having one of these engines just sitting out in your garage. Great way to make a statement in your collection. 488 Spider. I should give some love to this S-Class as well. Fun burgundy color, once again, big fan. This is the pre-facelift, um, I think it's a W221 series, I, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's that. You can tell the slightly older gener generation because they didn't have the LED running light in the bottom. Fun cars though. Pretty good deal right now, actually. I know uh, Dave from Daily Driven Exotics just got one of these pre-facelift S-Classes. The folks who actually run this dealer are pretty clever. They have a racing museum right here between these dealers, sort of in it. And it's a really great way of getting even more attention for the dealership. Absolutely incredible. Can't really see too well in there because the lights are off, but have to come out and check that out properly at some point. Let's walk over to the Lamborghini section. We've got a Huracan Evo, Huracan Evo Spider. And then we got Bentega. And very interestingly, a, an electric charger system for a Bentley, which I guess, oh, that's interesting. I didn't know there was a hybrid Bentega out, but I guess there is. Gotta pay closer attention to all the car news. Right, next up, Aston Martin. Pretty nice chargers here. It's nice that Bentley decides to do this too, that they at least make the charger very fancy. We've got four Continentals over here. Really fun cars. And we got a beautiful Aston Martin Vanquish. The plate actually matches very nicely to the car. These are just such amazing pieces of design. We got the previous generation Continental. I know that the sales numbers for these in more recent years have not been especially good, which is unfortunate because this generation Continental, or sorry, just Flying Spur, not Continental Flying Spur anymore, is a really amazing car. But I think with the refresh, which I can show you guys in a second, I think they're really gonna go crazy with sales. We've got here a very interesting two-tone color combination on this Dawn. we got this burgundy hood with a, I'm not even sure quite what color that is, sort of a purpley silver and a 
burgundy pinstripe, which is a really nice touch. White interior, very classy. This is definitely not young people spec, but I respect the classiness. Then we got beautiful DB11 over here. I think in one of my previous videos, yeah, in one of my previous videos, I was taking a look at one of these in Newport Beach. This one though, oh my gosh. I don't know if you can quite see just how impressive that paint is. Incredibly sparkly. See, I like with this deal, they're really upfront about the price. $237,990. It's nice you don't have to completely guess about it. Still very clever with this wing that isn't really a wing back here with the arrow. Great way of making the car very sleek but also functional with downforce. And ooh, another burgundy DB11. Got a nice old Arnage. These things are fun. They do have really, really nice lines to them. Not a huge fan of the taillights, but it depends on which version. I think there's a different one with more of a yellowy uh, turn signal in the back. Those I think didn't look as good, but definitely really warmed up to this design. It's aged pretty nicely. Then we got a Rapide. I think it's a normal Rapide, not the S. No, it's a Rapide S actually. And so that out. Ignored budget buyers. There's some Mini Coopers. Some actually really cool paint colors they got here. Pretty impressive blue. And a fun, kind of vibrant forest green on this. Looks like a special edition Mini Cooper. Ah uh, yes, and I've seen a bunch of stuff about this recently. We got one of the electric Mini Coopers, which my understanding don't actually have very good range. Be curious to see what the reviews say of it. The wheels look interesting. Front is not too great in my opinion. Maybe I'll get a chance to drive one. So we've got another Aston here with this crazy, crazy sparkle paint. This one's a Vantage. Let's see if the light can catch it. Really sparkly. A little bit like someone let their daughter go play with glitter all over the Astons, but hey, it actually looks really fun. And this is an incredibly sexy color. This burnt orange. I think especially in a state like Arizona, this really complements the landscape. I'm sure you could do some incredible photo shoots with this out in the desert. We got a DB11 again, another Vantage, Rapid S. Rapids are such fun cars, I just bummed that the DBX is fully replacing it. I think I mentioned that in an old video, but this one, let's see. I see this, I wonder if this means it's a California car. Am I right? I'm not sure. We got a Vanquish Volante. I love the wing shape and the taillights. Got a 911. 991.2 or 992. I really like the option where you just say 911 on the back and don't specify which one. That's tough for someone who's kind of into cars like me, trying to figure out which one it is, obviously. Also, it looks like the seats fold, which is interesting. Never seen that before in a 911, but actually really smart for carrying stuff in the back. We got a S-Class Coupe, S63 AMG. Of course, we got a Wraith. Looks stunning and all white. And then we'll finish off with the Dawn. Nice subtle touch, but I like the 
gold pinstripe. Really nice little touch there. It's the subtle stuff with Rolls Royces that makes them so special. All right, so I'm gonna head out now, but how about you guys let me know what car was your favorite of all the cars I showed you today? I don't know if I can really pick just one, but if I had to pick one, I'd probably go with one of those Ferraris or maybe one of these Vanquishes. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, and P.S. The new Flying Spur looks super, super cool. Pretty incredible the W12 can do 208 miles per hour. That is just absolutely insane. Of course, amazingly integrated B in the headlights. Awesome.